What's happening? It's your new episode of Vlogs. It's your homeboy, Mr. Capone. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the likes, thumbs up. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about another camarada from the SG to the V. Um, you already know he's he's getting it cracked right here. And um, what I'm talking about today is Lefty Gunplay uh, request he did to me and uh, about all that. So, yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe. Let it be known once again, as you see, represent the kids in the cages. Um, the eight people that have been busted, we need the people to stand up and support these guys who've been protecting the vendors. I don't know why none of you guys out there, none of you hanty out there is representing. I've been on posting their things. I've been sharing their flyers. I've been talking to Jaguars, um, family members, um, Amarado, all them people. So I've been in touch with them. And obviously I'm a busy guy, but I definitely supporting the movement. You guys definitely got to support it too. So if you don't know, now you know. All right, show up to the court hearings and all. Run up, run up. You guys can do it. Show some love to the homies. They've been protecting the street vendors, kids in cages and all that. But yeah, let's get back to the topic today. Uh, the to topic today is boot with Lefty Gun Play from the SGV. Shouts out to all the Bayeros out there. <clears throat> Shouts out to everyone. Um, first, I'm gonna people want to know react to what I think about Lefty Gun Play. And all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my shot. I'm gonna shoot that Vala right here. So to me, Lefty Gun Place, he's he's doing good. I I I like what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like this is how I could explain it to you. In the rap game, we have the old school mentality. I don't know if you want to put me in the old school mentality, but I, I'm a little bit on the old school mentality. But I also doing stuff for the new, right? Then you got the new school mentality right he's got a little bit of both which is good right which is right because i i'm one of those guys know how to do a both but he knows how to really roll with the new and roll with the old school because he got the old school morals of the of the ethics being torcido he knows what it is he knows a program he knows how to conduct himself in speaking correctly sometimes he does boom say a lot of stuff but at the end of the day, he catches everything he says, and he has the right answer. So much props to homie, giving the right Fletcher out. I'm not going to say what he says, that he said right. There's been some situations that I heard that I was like, what? But then, he, like he said, he handled it correctly and handled business. So I give him that. And in the new generation, he's got that, you know, the little, I don't want to call it swag, but the new Stilo too. He's got that little fit. You know, he's got that thing for the new generation. Um, so that's him. And you know what? He's like me. He can recognize new generation weirdo stuff and call it out for what it is. I seen him on some, uh, um, interviews. I was just tapping him out. He's like, this, this, this shit ugly. Like, you know, like same thing, you know, like some of the new stuff, weirdo stuff. And he looks at weirdo. Um, I got nothing against Edgar's, but the same thing to me, that's a little different to me. You feel me? Same thing with him. I heard a little interview like, what? What's up with, you know, like, so he's calling stuff out for the new generation that he does see a little strange, but he's still in that stilo. So I give him that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I should have known um, back in the days before I was signing artists since 2017, I really haven't signed nobody. After 2017, I put some guys, some little, I posted their videos, show love to the camaradas. I always got a open door to all them solid homies out there. They know who they are, but I never really signed no artists after 2017. And a lot of artists has been hitting me up. Like you, you would be surprised, like a grip of artists. Everyone that you see is in the game. Basically a lot of them, 80, 90% has really tapped in with me. Right. And, um, some of them didn't even make it. Some of them still around, blah, blah, blah. And I always was the type of camarada that will give that helping hand. And do it but after 2017 because i've been doing the label stuff for real i've been having my own time doing shows getting my bag exploring different things and i'm having fun with it and i'm still having fun with it you know and i got a message from lefty gunplay in 2000 2001 um because i went back and i just was gonna check his page out and then i seen him following me so i was like, all right cool that's what's up and then I was like, let me let me send let me send look in the message real quick. Maybe 
give him a little viral love. You know what I'm saying? Because I did give him viral love when he was on some podcast with the homie crimes. Um, I go and then I see a whole message he sent me. Hey dog, I rap, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. Showing love, you know, list goes on. I'll show you guys that right here the um, message that he sent me in those times. Check it out. Yeah, so he sent me a message like, you know, I could have, if I was in that same state of mind, I could have signed artists like Lefty and Pryor Taken, but what, whoever his new label is doing just what we left off at, shots out OTR. They're doing a, they're doing a writer. Shots out of Solis. Homie's doing it. What up, man? Shots out. That's a real, that's a real one right there. Doing it good. So I see what he's doing and I respect it. But it's crazy to look back like, damn, so many artists has been hitting me, but I've just been doing my thing. And I could have continued on the high power empire and keep it cracking. But there are so many other names that right now are so big. Even you could take it back to guys like King G. Send me messages to shots out to met up with the boy drummer boy. I mean, I don't know who else is popping, but a lot of these guys from back then to time now to whatever has tapped in and showed a lot of uh, respect, and I salute them too. Uh, but I stopped doing any uh, signings after 2017 and stuff like that, and I was just checking the message and it tripped me out, and that's what's up. But what I'm really here to speak upon, he shouted me out. And the homie Lefty Gunplay, Vallejo, fellow Vallejo, right there in Baldwin Park, Baldwin Parque, right here, West Covina, La Puente area, Capone. You know what I'm saying? So we're from the same, we, you know, we, we grew up on the same water. You know what I'm saying? Like, same area, same school, same, like, same Skletcher. You know, we have that same Skletcher in the Valle. You know, like, we're quick. We got we got the Hainas. We know what's up. The Hainas, we're hustlers, gangsters. We do it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect to any other area, but, you know, how the SGVs do it. And when we first came in this rap game in the early 2000s, Capone was an SGVer, and I did the SGV thing. So when I did the SGV thing, the same stilo, we took over. So from whatever, we signed other artists, and we ended up, you know, cutting them off, blah, blah, blah. But we reigned for years. What I did is I didn't want to just stick to the SGV. I wanted to sign dope talent everywhere. So obviously you had Criminal, you had other artists that I that popped up and blew up on the radio. Just the list goes on, right? The, from the artists like Sugar Free, Bone Thugs, Little Flips, did projects with a lot of them. So I didn't come to that mentality, but I turned that into that street hustle, the gangster, to the gangster business. Because, you know, a lot of the homies in the SGV, like the homies, you know, like like we were on the corner with the homie from Little Hill, slang beat it all, all on the block all day. We, it's that hustle mentality, right? So we took that mentality and took it in the rap game and we blew up. And ever since then, honestly, I didn't really see too many people um, from the SGV. Now, there was YBE, shots out YBE, much love, and we'll have us uh, we'll go check out the thing I talk about YBE. Um, he was like that, but same thing. It was like there was Bello at the beginning, so it was kind of thing. But now YB's growing up, getting on his moan, like, hey, motionless, YBE, pound for pound. Holding it down straight like, hey, that that man is doing it independent, independently. So, you know, Vieros had a little touch with YBE, but then we get a homie, gangster-ass fool from the SUV, um, him, Rowdy, just in the last, you know, there's homies from Monte. There's a, little, a lot of homies. Little Hill got artists coming, so there's a lot of artists out there. Bassett, like, these little homies are coming up now, and that's good to see the Vieros doing it, and... Uh, so Lefty on it, Criminals Podcast said he would like to see uh, Mr. Capone because uh, they grew up in our in their hood bumping King of the Streets. Yeah, King of the Streets. So he said, man, I want to flip that. I want to flip that. So he, he wanted to flip that. So I was like, okay. Obviously, I get it. King, shots out to the homies out there. And, you know, they got other artists that are King Cash, a solid-ass dude. Met him a couple times. Um uh, Nothing but love, um, and you know Bundy, and you know stuff like that. So, yeah, like King of the Streets makes sense why he likes them, why they bump it. You feel me? And it was cracking on the streets back in the days. So definitely, this message is to Lefty. I'm gonna get at him too. Um, yeah, we could probably get that going. You busy now? You making your moves? 
I'm busy too. But uh, just like he shot that respect, as a camarada, I have to shut that respect and answer back. I got it, Simon, we can do it. That's how homies work, you know? You, one person says something, you can't leave the other person hanging. You know, you got to come up directly and speak on it, and I'm going to speak on it because he threw my name out there, and I say, Simon, I got you. Usually, at the end of the day, it's business, but lefty, Vallero love, hell no. Homie doing his thing, at the end of the day, he's cracking right now too, so much love to him. It's all love. It's all love on this side of town, man, from Capone. So, uh, yeah, that's something I wanted to bring up because he brought on my thing. And you can hear it right here on this thing right here. Yeah, shout right. out to West Kobe and Cyclones on the game. That's right. All day. Yeah, homies. I know shout that. out to all the yes, homies. Sir. I, know, I, know, I, know, I know Mr. Capone here, real one from the hood. Hey, Mr. Capone on the game. That's the boy right there. Like, I grew up listening to Capone. Wait, where did he do that? I'm the king of the streets. The king king of the streets. We yeah. flip. That was my shit, huh, Cass? Yeah, that, that shit was shit? produced in my studio. Man, we was gangbanging to that. We recorded that motherfucker the in the old gang. crime lab. Yeah. When the crime lab was still in the crib. I want to do that one with Mr. Capone, king of the streets remix. Yeah, that's the criminal's podcast that he was talking about. So, yeah, definitely lefty gunplay. And speaking about lefty, man, I know it's hard to talk about other artists when you're doing your thing and doing stuff like that. But he's a fellow Vallejo, Estudio, LA County. Um, he's doing his thing. I see him making moves. Keep it solid, homie. Keep it cracking. I know this game is brutal. It's brutal. The internet is brutal. They're going to try to break you, make you, and break you. Just keep it, keep rocking. Everybody's... Go ahead and support the homie. You feel me? All my people support, you know? Um, keep it cracking. It's Mr. Capone. I've been in for years. Um, I'm busy on the tours, busy on other things going on, planning, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, it's good. It's a fresh light. Bring Vallejo's back up in this, you know what I'm saying? All audios that we're from and the L.A. County, you know? Bring the real L.A. G shit back, you feel me? Because I know how we rock. I know how we rock everywhere, and we have that mentality. So, hey, it takes this kind of stilo to represent and get accepted by mainstream media. When we were doing it, we were accepted. Capone was accepted. This new generation can hate on Capone. Oh, it's too chunty, cholo, whatever. Nah. All the people, Snoop Dogg called me up. Kevin Gates, I want to do a record with you. Nate Dogg worked with me. Born with us, sugar free, you know? Like, they loved our stilo because we kept the G and we knew what's up. And now, after that, all these people who run in their mouth and saying, ah, Cholo, I don't know, I'm from the city, I, or this, and hating and that stuff, like, I don't get it. Shots to the real LA gangsters, you know what I'm saying? They know what it is. Uh, but, like, bro, like, we've been doing it, and it's good to see a guy like uh, Lefty doing it. And, you know, these out-of-staters saying, oh, no, we don't like that Cali stuff because da 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 they're too much Cholo. Like, it's just too much Cholo talk. Relax yourself. They respect the gangster shit. They respect the homies. They respect the Cholos. Mainstream does respect that. And that's what I like about Lefty because he's keeping that Cholo with that new Stilo. So that's what's going to do it. So, hey, that's what it is, man. Whether it's Cholo or Cholo with the new Stilo, it is what it is. It's that mentality, and he's got the right mentality. So shouts out to Lefty Gunplay. Um, homies probably busy, probably shooting a video right now, doing a podcast. Who knows what he's doing? I got so much time on my hand, I'm doing other things. But, hey. I had to stop and shoot that shot back. Boom! The gun play back right at the homie and show some love back. It's your homie, Mr. Capone. Another episode of vlogs. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to talk more, a couple more things about Lefty on my other podcasts. And we'll get back into it because I'm planning to do some bigger things in the month of March. We're sitting at the podcast. It's going to be cracking. But uh, you stay tuned. Maybe February. But uh, you guys stay tuned. Much love. Subscribe. And we have more topics from rapping to politics of the world to sports, boxing, UFC, all that. But it's going to be cracking. Stay tuned. Capone, the one and only.